So say you have an object in Unity that you just figured out how to move around the screen, but that object flies out of view, preventing you from being able to see it. In this tutorial, I will show you with a few lines of code how to clamp your object's position to stay within the boundaries of the screen, regardless of your device's size, orientation, or resolution. Right now I have a sample scene set up in Unity. If you watch my mobile joystick tutorial, this scene will be very familiar to you. I have a sprite visualizing my spaceship and a particle effect to give the illusion that my spaceship is flying through space. In my last tutorial, we discussed moving our spaceship by clicking or touching our screen and dragging in the direction we want our spaceship to travel. Although unfortunately, our spaceship can travel anywhere in the world space of our scene without any limitations. So what we want to do is calculate the boundaries of our screen and then convert that into world space, which puts it on the same coordinate system as our object. And then we want to find the boundaries of our object. And then all we want to do is clamp our object so that it doesn't pass the X and Y coordinates of our screen boundaries. So let's go ahead and right click in our project folder and create a new C sharp script and let's label this boundaries. And the first thing we want to do is create a new private vector two for our screen boundaries. And let's just label this screen bounds. And then what we want to do is we want to figure out our screen boundaries in world space. So let's plot our screen width and screen height as a world point by using camera.main.screen to world point. And then for our Z parameter, let's just go ahead and use our camera Z position. So what this does is gives us an X and Y value that will be half of the screen width and half of the screen height in world units. So for a screen that is eight units wide and six units high, our X value will be four units and our Y value will be three units. But since the screen coordinate system is reversed from the world coordinate system, these values will actually be negative. So keep that in mind when we use them later. So then let's change our update function into a late update function because it's called directly after our movement script. Then let's go ahead and declare a new vector three and set it to our transforms current position. We do this so we can alter our object's X and Y coordinates. Let's then clamp our current X position to the screen boundaries X position. We use the current value, which is a negative number to be used for our minimum value. And then we reverse the value to make it positive for our maximum value. Then let's simply do the same thing for our Y position. And then lastly, let's set our position to equal our new altered position. And then let's go ahead and save our work. If we then go back into Unity, and then we drag our script onto our object, and then we press play, we should see that our spaceship sort of stays within the boundaries, but half our spaceship still goes off screen. The reason it is doing that is because our object's position is set to the center of our spaceship. The center of our spaceship is clamped to the boundaries of our screen, but not the spaceship itself. So what we need to do is calculate the boundaries of our spaceship and then include that into our clamp calculations. So to fix that, let's go back into our script and create two new private floats, one for our object width and one for our object height. To find the boundaries of our object is a lot easier and we can use the built-in component for a sprite renderer called bounds.size. Since our object is being clamped using the center of our spaceship, we only need to know what half our object's dimensions are. So let's go ahead and divide these values by two. Then all we need to do is add our object width to our minimum value and subtract our object width to our maximum value. And quickly, we'll do the same for our Y value, except we'll use object height. And then if we save our script and go back into Unity, 
we should now see that our spaceship fully stays within the boundaries of our screen. We now have a boundary script that we can add to any object in our scene that we want to remain on screen. If you'd like to copy and paste the source code used in this video, please refer to the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.